is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and I talk about frugal living, fitness, motivation, and minimalism. So I'm going to do my first week of Octavia and I'm going to record it. So today is day one, week one. So I get up around 5.30 every morning and get my daughter ready for daycare and then I go to work. So you have to eat your first feeling within an hour of waking up. So I, because I have my daughter, She's in the background. I'm going to do a Caramel Delight crisp bar, and I've got my um, gallon of water ready to go for the day. So, here's what it looks like the Caramel Delight crisp bar. So, let's see what it tastes like. Definitely crunchy. Definitely caramel. Um, what I'll probably do to finish this is I'll put it in the microwave for like 15 seconds to melt the caramel because it's a little, um, it's not super hard on top, but it's a little bit hard on top. And then everything else is like crunchy, so it's good. So, fueling number one. Hey guys, it's been about two and a half hours, so I did, um, I've got my fueling number two, it's the peanut butter shake. And it's a snow day, so I'm teleworking from home today. I'll show you how I made this peanut butter protein shake. I did it in a blender with some ice. So I'm going to try it. This one's good. It's very peanut buttery. And it doesn't have like a bad aftertaste or anything. Next time I'll probably add more water because it's a little thick. Or um, I might think about, I might consider like freezing it and see if I like it frozen. Or have it right before bed like as a treat. Like as a sweet treat. Because I, for this box, the only shake I got was this peanut butter one. And I got mostly savory stuff. So... Anyway, pan butter shake is good, so I'm going to eat this and then set my alarm for another two and a half hours. about to go have my third fueling and I'm getting a little hungry so I'm gonna go ahead and do my lean and green for the day for my lunch and for my water I'm a little bit ahead I'm all the way up to 3 p.m. and it's only 11:30, so I'm ahead with my water it consisted of ground beef I got the 93% lean and I had five ounces of that ground beef with three different vegetables so you can have three servings of vegetables. So I had um, orange bell pepper, I had jalapeno, and I had tomatoes. Since I went with the ground beef, I can't have any healthy fats with this one. For seasonings, the condiments, my three condiments I can use, I used, um, I used hot sauce, Frank's Red Hot, two tablespoons of that, and I used half a teaspoon of pepper and half a teaspoon of salt. And that was plenty. And I could even, I could have even done like half of those. Like a fourth teaspoon of pepper and a fourth teaspoon of salt. Because that was a lot. And um, I just cooked everything up and kind of stir fried it together. And I mixed the hot sauce, salt, and pepper together in a little bowl. And I put that in there in the pan and I just stirred it all up. And that's what I ate. And I was hungry when I was cooking this, but when I finished it, I was, I was full. Like I was comfortably full. 
and I just um, reached my daily water goal. So I'm at 64 ounces right now, and it's only, it just turned one o'clock. <clears throat> so I don't think the gallon a day is going to be an issue for me. I'm in Colorado, and it's really dry here, so we're supposed to hydrate anyway. Um, but, so that's what I had for my third fueling, and I'll see you for my next fueling. Hey guys, it's 5.30, and I'm having fueling number five. It's the chocolate pudding, and... I wasn't able to stir it up like all the way, but um, I'm going to get like a little tiny whisk and use that, but fueling number five um, at 5.30 and then I'll have one more after this. Hey guys, I'm editing the video and I just want to let you know that I do not recommend freezing the chocolate pudding and then eating it. The t I didn't like the texture, it was, it didn't have a good texture. Some, I've seen some people like freeze it and then eat it. Maybe they cover the top. I don't know. And I didn't mix it up really good before I froze it. Now I have a whisk to help me with that. But um, to me, it tastes good just to mix it up and eat it. But just to let you know that. Hey guys, it's 7.30. And I'm going to have my last feeling. This creamy double peanut butter crisp bar and get ready for bed. So those are all the feelings in one day. It was pretty good. Um, and ready for tomorrow. So all in all, I think I had a good first day. I forgot to record that fourth feeling, but it was just a, uh, one of the bar. For me, I've had the lean and greens for lunch and I've had it for the dinner, like on you know separate days, but I get so full after the lean and greens. So for, for me, I prefer to have the lean and green for lunch because that's when I feel the most hungry. And then I prefer to have the shakes towards the end of the day. Or I'll put my coffee in a shake and have it first thing. But those are just some things I've noticed in this moment while I'm editing. Um, I just finished two weeks of the Octavia. So it's going good. Nine pounds down. I hope this video gave you some insight on the program and I'll see you guys next time.